What's up guys, it's Miles. I hope you're all doing great today. Welcome back to another video and I apologize for not uploading for so long, but it's spring break, I'm back. I'm ready to make some more videos, but for today's video, we're gonna go through some pickups, gonna go through some footage in LA, just some vlog stuff, life stuff, you know, just lifestyle, just getting back into it. I'm gonna try to post more on this channel because I want to be more active on YouTube and all that stuff. And, but I guess without further ado, um, I'm going to go through some of my favorite pickups since last video and I have no idea when that was, but let's go through it. Um, I guess I should start off with um, this shirt. It's uh, from Hysteric Glamour. It's the Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol collab. I'm trying to show the back. Um, probably can't do that, but super nice shirt. It's pretty like fitted, um, more like, I guess, tighter, not as uh, boxy, but it looks good. Um, I'm just keeping it tucked in. Got these pants as well um, a while back uh, since last video. These are some Jabot pants, really uh, good denim. I have like a little bear brick attached to here. It's a uh, Tommy Hilfiger one, it's pretty tiny. Got the ass pizza pins and then the number nine. The Ed Hardy belt, I have to, it's a classic. On my head, I have the, the number nine Gotham City hat, super sick. Definitely like wearing it, it's a good fit. I got my ears pierced since, uh, I guess last video. They're healing pretty nicely, probably take a little bit longer for it to really completely heal. I have a lot of more piercings that are coming in that I bought, some Vivian, some Stare Glamour, all that jazz. Just got these Vivian piercings as well. Pretty nice, it's just like the standard satin or So they're pretty small, um, I really like them. Uh, it's got the little rhinestone thing in the middle. These were just right behind me, but picked up just this El Sancho hat, it's pretty funny. Um, just put a bunch of pins all over it. So we got number nine, Hysteric, more Hysteric, Ass Pizza, um, Mammoth. Because uh, I go to the snow, got another bear brick back here, hysteric glamour hat. It's got hysteric glamour text on the back, a little bear brick, more hysteric pins. I took some off. I put them on this jacket um, that I'll show you guys in a sec. But Carhartt flame resistant jacket. It's really big. Um, as you can see, pins on here, just all hysteric pins. Um, probably gonna take them off. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna be moving pins around a lot for stuff but I'll show you guys how it fits i usually wear like an xl for most clothes and but it fits pretty good i'm just gonna leave this shoulder exposed because of my mic but it's pretty good it fits the sleeves for the most part really oversized um definitely super warm got the quilted interior um, all that but it is flame resistant so we will put it to the test. Flame resistant. Let's see, I've been wearing it a lot since it's been raining in California, um, but overall it's a really good pickup. I don't believe I've shown this chain on this channel yet. Vivian, pendant, and then I just attached it to this silver chain from uh, an old broken Dior chain. Okay, yeah, got some uh, pant pickups. I'm just gonna go through these one by one. So first off, we got these Bape jorts. Um, these are from Nigo Era. Got the Bape Classics tag. Really nice for the spring, just got the Bape on the butt. More Bape, got this quilted pattern. Really nice with the camo on it. Got this Pirate Bape short, little Bearberry ripoff. Good short for the spring and summer. Bape nylon cargo shorts. Uh, pretty minimal. These are just absolutely cooked on here. Got the super nicely faded Studio de Artisan denim. Very nice fading. Really nice just aging on these in general. The ends of these look really nice as well. Rays on the very back. Been wearing these a lot. They're very comfortable and soft and lightweight. And also this was from a while back. The Visus. Really nice denim, really thick. More of a boxy fit. Some pleated detailing on here. Babe denim. Got the little distorted ape head logo right here. Lastly, I uh, got these Momotaro jeans. Nice fading. Next pickup, got this 
Christian Dior little bathrobe nightgown or whatever. I just got it. It was funny. Figured I'd pick it up. It's really nice. Forgot about this beanie that I also picked up. It's a hysteric glamour beanie. Kind of a shorter fit. I just like fits right above the brow. Next up, we got more pants. These are some Versace, some DKNY leather pants, Kansai jacket. Kind of a boxy fit over the shoulders. You can see like right here. All that really nice material super super soft been wearing this a lot recently as well okay we got some tops here as well isei miyaki knit tank top hysteric glamour crop top another hysteric lord of heights electric hysteric and then it's got this back graphic that looks pretty sick hysteric psycho little wife pleaser over there deftones um a little bit of a metallic finish with like a glitter um type stuff lastly we got this Bape jersey with the Bapesta NYC on the back. Next, we got some shoes. I'll um, go through these. First up, we got these Bally boots with the side zip closure. Looks really nice. I wear these almost all the time now. I just love the way they fit. They just go with a lot of things that I'm wearing right now. Supreme, CDG, and Timberland collaboration. Lastly, we got these Hender Scheme shaggy boots. Really nice uh, materials. It is based off of the Clark's Wallaby silhouette. These are super high top, just made of this gorgeous suede, nice leather interior. And lastly, I have these two t-shirts and these two hoodies. These two hoodies are from my friend's brand, my friend Seth, his brand is called Etoner. I'll put the Instagram link in the description. This one's got like this cool um, graphic on the back, with like a skull, some text on the front, really nice. Then there's this one, which is um, these three cats. These are just really thick hoodies, they're really nice too. 90s or 80s single stitch Stussy tees um, so made in the USA double XL and this one the tag ripped off but this one's also a double XL kind of see the graphics I don't want to unfold these this one's just got this tiny embroidery right here of the jazz man so that's it for the pickups so my friends are coming over at any minute so we'll continue to the vlog um, we're gonna go to LA we're going to a rooftop to just see the views and all that stuff and I think we're gonna go head down to Sunset and just go through the stores, grab some food, but it should be pretty chill. But that's the pickups I have for now. I have a few more things that are coming soon, so I'll probably just add it somewhere else in the video. But it's great to be back. I'll see you guys in LA. Okay, we're like almost at the top of the roof. He's gonna tell you, he's dying right here. He's actually creasing. Look at these fools. Look at these fools. Oh, 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 oh. We got Adrian. We got Leo. And then this guy. The cane. It's good, dude. Cane on deck. Cane on deck. With the Rickies. With the Rickies. Of course. There you go. Say something motivational. Always chase your dreams. Always. Look at this. We're going up. We're going up. Even though I'm like most of the top. So bad. This is perfectly legal. Perfectly safe. It's all for the drip. It's all drip. What pants are those? Number nine. Number nine. No. I'm dying over here. We're almost there. Four more flights. Are you creasing? Right now. <laughs> it's creasy hard. Never give up, never give up. Never. Say something motivational. Look at this. Oh, just get money. Here. My shirt first capacity. Parallel ability. This guy's so Bruce Wayne. So Bruce Wayne. Bro.
Look at this. On the edge. Mm. All bad bitches take a groove pick. Had to step back cause she too thick. Used to twerk to every, every song. Saved with the buy ass, say you're very, very young. FaceTime body look like Don Perignon. Don't pay me no attention, Don Perignon. I'm creasing. Oh. I'm still sweating, it's crazy. We're gonna take some pictures. Uh, enjoy the view and I think after this we're gonna go down to sunset and just like do some random things over there. Would you rob me This is who I am. This is called Moses Tire. <laughs> Dude, I'm in. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, I just need to get My name is Dan Sorrow. Hi. I'm gonna be a real estate agent. <laughs> My name is Antonio D'Angelo. I do various work in the real estate area. I will vouch for you. I am black. You think Antonio should? Uh, run for president? Fuck, dude. He would run this country to the ground, dude. Like, look at this. There would be no buildings if he was president, dude. It'd just be flat. Dirt. Nothing. Support. Would, would you say that... Would you say that D'Antoni is Amish? If I was president, LA would be more like New York City. LA is ghetto. Shit. I would make this... Look at this. Look, 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 look. Like, easy, bro. Easy fix. Easy fix. Kick all the homeless schools out. Gone. Kick him out too. Kick him out too. This guy is about to take your money and steal it. How old is this guy? How old would you? Who would you trust yes. with their financial stuff? Go in the comments, go down, guys. Go, down, go, down, go in the comments. Go, down, go, down, go in the go down, comments. Go down, go down. Like, down. Who would you vote for president? I think it's obvious. Comment down below. Who wins? Who's the one showing up? This, this? or this? It's an obvious answer, sir. There you go. That's this. That's, that's the cream of the crop right there. That's all I need or to know. This. That's it, that's it. Can I show you one thing? All this designer got me drip through. All this designer got him drip through. That's all I need to know. We have these other people just came up the building. They're like doing a music video. It's crazy. People always come up here and then... And then God. Bro, thank you. Gabe, it's bro, Gabe! Bro, thank you. Bro, thank you. Thoughts. So what's going on here? Can you tell us? Are you Antonio? Antonio the reporter. What's going on here? Vibes are absolutely immaculate. Why are you so bad at thinking? Some of the group work. We got the we're at we're at Shake Shack. We got to, we just got burritos. How's it taste? It's amazing. I haven't opened mine yet. Just got chorizo. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy.
Gonna head back. Um, it's pretty late right now. I'm gonna go back home as well to pick up a tea. Um, but that pretty much wraps it up for today. So, see you guys when I get back home. Peace. This is so bad, bro. What's up, guys? I'm back. It's been a couple of days since the last little clip i'm gonna go pick up a new haul i would say it's about a 1500 dollars haul and tomorrow there is going to be a fugazi pop-up basically a pop-up for their new shoe there's going to be very heavy theming it's going to be really nice the last clip that i also got a new pickup right here this is from fernando rangel's brand it's called blood thinner for reference i'm 510 i weigh 160 the sleeve is cut like right mid bicep pretty nice fit i really like it happy i picked this up i had to once i saw i'm gonna go home now pick up my new haul okay i'm back i have all the pickups with me right now i have a lot it was a big haul so we'll just uh go through everything kind of one by one so first off i got a bunch of hysterics stuff um it's all just Ear piercing stuff so we got the bees and we also got the banana piercings also picked up a bunch of vivian westwood pieces so first off we've got saturn orbs another one i picked up right here this one is definitely my favorite of the bunch next up we got a 80s stussy trucker hat next up a vivian westwood scarf stare glamour guitar pick bracelet studio to artisan salvage got the salvage stitching right there stussy dragon tank top. This isn't the original print. That graphic right here, it's well worn in already, so should be a good piece for the summer. Hysteria Glamour, bear spiral graphic based off of Grateful Dead, and on the back it says, let's get everyone stoned. Astucey, the Louis Vuitton ripoff. Uh, this is the N4 shirt. I will be selling this. Made in the USA. 90s hysteric glamour hysteric times the back graphic is pretty sick stussy reversible shirt stussy college double xl really thick material so the reverse side is just a classic pocket tee little stussy embroidery right here next we got the stussy 90s made in the usa dragon tee this is the original batch single stitched um, really nice. This is a size large for reference. Another Stussy T. This one's in size XL. 90s single stitch. Got a little university looking logo right here. And then the back says Stussy Sport. Stussy Nation. 90s single stitch made in the USA. Hand drawn graphic of the Statue of Liberty with the Stussy logo on the top. And then you got a collegiate on the bottom that says nation this one is in really good condition so i was really happy to pick this up next up we got the stussy jazz man this is 90s made in the usa size medium another stussy t this one is from the 2000s made in mexico it's got a little speech bubble on there on the front and then on the back it says in the stussy font can i kick it another stussy dragon t this one's in a little bit of a different style really nice fading 90s size medium made in the USA, a 90s Stussy Sport, made in the USA, single stitch, really nice fading on this gray colorway, and I will be selling this as well. 2000s collab with James Jarvis, it has the graphic of a dancing guy who's break dancing, it says dance first, think later, and got some text on the bottom. And lastly for the tops, we've got this Versace knit vest, Kim Jones slacks. I was hoping that these would fit me, but the waistline, and just the overall garment that's just way too small for me. Kansa Yamamoto. Bell bottom slash boot cut type fit. Got pockets on the front side and button pockets on the back. Studio to Artisan shorts, kind of work shorts-esque. Really like the subtle red stripes on here. Next up, we got these Karakiri embroidered uh, denim. So we got this giant koi fish embroidery right here. Straight leg cut off right here. Got a pair of this white painter work denim looking pants. This is from Catherine Hammett. PPFM jumpsuit. So you got a bunch of different texts and graphics. It's a collar top, a lot of paneling all over the place. Text right here that says Eastern Rock. On the back side it says carrying knowledge into fields in this cool font. Here is the tag. This is a size medium, and there's a bunch of these kind of 
bondage details right here. You got more pockets on the back. Right here it says Anarchy Denim right around the waistline. Another PPFM denim overalls. Pockets on this side right here. If you decide to wear these as like pants, uh, these things can flip over and then boom, you got more pockets right here. This is a really good piece. I really like it. Pretty heavy, got some weight to it. And you can still feel the softness of the denim. A lot of functionality for sure. I'll definitely say this is one of my favorite pickups I've gotten so far this year, um, just because I've never owned a pair of overalls. And this one definitely Play with the bands, y'all niggas get it. Play with the bands, y'all niggas get it. Home invasion, nigga, no one with it. Ride around with the Glock 40, the sticky. Call the feet to shout it. All right, it's like seven in the morning, getting ready to go to LA. I'm gonna get dressed right now and gonna head up to LA. All right, we got the tie on. It's time for business. Let's go. Yeah, this is the fit. It's literally just straight up business. Serious mode. Uh, I have a black suit jacket to go over this, but that's what we got on and I'm gonna head out right now. All right, we're at the venue right now. Uh, everything's pretty much set up. So this is the interrogation room. Here, Relax Papa. It's 4 a.m. We've got this waiting room right here. It's kind of like theme park related. So like people are gonna be walking from that door over there all the way down here. It's gonna be dark. And we're gonna walk through here. You see the shoes right there? and you'll be able to see inside here. So it's going to be like the interrogation video um, on Instagram that was released for the promo and you'll be able to see right here. So one of the guys is gonna be interrogating them inside of this room right here. And it's just gonna like match that exact same promo and they get interrogated. And then right after that, they receive the shoes and then they walk out. So right now we are like, I'd say like an hour 30 out till the venue opens. So we're kind of just chilling in here and this is the spot. Do I have paper on there? Yeah, there's paper in here where there's like a photo paper. Uh, well, we could, I guess, take around. Take around. Take around. Yeah, yeah. Let me get a sharpie. This is just, <laughs> 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 this is just like, I didn't have yeah. So you just run up and then he's going to sound the alarm on the ring camera. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking little chirping noise. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know what the fuck these hoes are. Fuck all these bitches, man. I'm finna motherfucking beat my motherfucking dick all day. These hoes know me like Dino Spumoni. Stick up your homie, soft as reggaetoni. Sega cartridge is how they blow me. This my occupation. Robbing bitches for that ticket, sort of like my proclamation. If dick licking, not your retentions, ain't no conversation. 626, when a nigga spit, I'm that abomination. Hit licks when I whip my click, yeah, that's my congregation. Hold the record for most yards ran. I'm Walter Payton. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're at Thank you. 
through, just fucking like chuck that shit fucking across the room, bro. He got threw it. the chair, he got my heart beat, and I was like, bro, you serious, <laughs> bro? Like, <laughs> if you look at it a little bit sooner, then then I, then I maybe that you know just cool. a little bit. Yeah, that shit was cool. All right, that, yeah. that I'm a not nah, like boss that shit. Send this to him that moment. Like, pick it up. Oh yeah, yeah, fuck that shit. Like send me that shit to the wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, bro. This chair. <laughs> so the pop-up is going good we've sold around like 40 pairs and the interrogations have been super funny and i helped a pair myself right there um these fit true to size for those who are watching and hopefully they'll be on the website soon i'm not really sure about that uh xavier what do you think how's it been going it's been a good day so far. It hasn't been like super eventful, but you know, just a one-off day trying to sell some sneakers. Like, you know, it's been like decent today. Uh, there was some crazy shit going on earlier. Some like homeless dude walks up in like his fucking underwear asking for the owner and I had to like tell him to fuck off. But yeah, he didn't come back. I don't know. There was like women in line and like he was like touching his dick. And I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> I, uh, I told him to piss off though. Um, that was the only thing that happened today. I mean, it, no funny business. Everybody's been cool. Um, my feet do hurt. I've been standing for a while. We're probably going to pick up food soon just because no one's really um, coming in at this hour, but hopefully it'll be like a group that comes in like later. All right, the pop-up is done. It went pretty well. There wasn't as much people as expected, but overall just super cool experience. Everyone who came in, just had a really good time. But right now, I'm gonna grab some food with Seth and Sev. Um, they're just pulling up right now. Not even sure if I'm supposed to park here, but we won't be here for too long. We got the shoes on feet. You missed the meat pause. All right, Tyler, what'd you think? It was good. Sold out. Had a good amount of people show up. Yeah. What do you? What was your favorite part about it? Luke throwing the chair, probably. He got really into character. It was cool. A lot of people showed up. It was good to sell out. First day, like a surprise pop-up. What was your favorite part? Honestly, probably seeing people be excited about the whole experience. People were actually like digging that shit a lot, like and like to be immersed in stuff. But yeah, it was cool. Overall, cool experience. A good way to like promote something. My name is Dan Tony. I am going to be your real estate agent. <laughs>